And the accumulating snow of the last few weeks can cause serious damage to your roof. And with more snow on the way, we wanted to know what homeowners can do to help minimize that damage. Our severe weather team coverage continues live now with meteorologist Pete Mangione. Well, it turns out that socks can help solve a winter problem, and you don't even have to be wearing them. This is a lady's knee high. It's a strange sight at first, a stocking sitting on a snowy roof. But for Chapachet hardware owner Gregory Murray, it's part of his new instructional video describing how to prevent ice dams on your roof. But I decided to post it on my Facebook page, and it went viral. Um, I mean, several hundred thousand hits in the first few days. An ice dam occurs when heat rises into the roof and melts a layer of snow. The resulting snow melt then makes its way towards the edge of the roof. And when it gets to the overhang of the roof, there's no longer heat coming up from the overhang, so it refreezes and eventually over time it compounds and you end up with a thick ice dam. He gave Eyewitness News a demonstration of his fix-it method, starting first with filling up the stocking with calcium chloride. Men's socks can also be used but the ladies version does have some advantages. It has its pluses and minuses. The knee highs are a lot longer, so if you have a long ice dam, uh, it's better, but they don't hold quite as much calcium. And then it's time to head up to the roof. Laid it up on the roof, and slowly the chemical reaction begins to start, and the sock begins to sink into the ice dam, which creates a canal for the water to release from. And Murray says it works best if you can place the socks about eight feet apart on the roof. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.